Hello everybody. Today is a glorious day because after two weeks of waiting, and I love this feature by the way, double click. Oh yeah, look at this. It's a little squeaky, but even in 2006 when this car was you know, still being made, not a lot of cars had that auto trunk up and down feature. Ugh. So I think Cadillac DTS didn't have it. So anyway, sorry, I digress. So after two weeks of waiting, Something magical happened. Got all this crap in the trunk, but that's not what I'm here for. I finally received a box that I've been waiting for for the last two weeks. And that box contains, hopefully, the parts needed to, um, to fix. So this is everything that's needed to fix that stupid airbag light. So it's basically the same part, which is right here. I guess I might save everyone some, some trouble. So this is the passenger side pre-tensioner kit for the airbag. So I already replaced the driver's side. And the driver's side, okay, I could kind of, sort of, see some sense in there. But what I don't see is the sense in why would the passenger one also be bad because the passenger side is barely even used so here it is it's all of its glory got the little cap here once again i'm gonna unbox everything and got these ridiculous instructions once again i got the same type of instructions when i got um, the driver's side i mean look how bad they're printed look at this like some sort of a digital text and it's got all the instructions on how to replace it and everything but but still it's uh it's pretty bad quality but in any case um i'm gonna i'm gonna undo all these because uh, i i really need to invest in a tripod i feel like i mean I, my videos are starting to get pretty uh elaborate and i need to be able to show and tell without having at least one hand on the on the camera so i think i'm right after i'm done shooting this video i'm gonna go and invest in like whatever a cell phone uh tripod so all right let me get these unboxed well not unboxed but unwrapped and i'll show you everything all right so here we go again and this is a, pretty much exactly the same part as i showed in the other video but this one's supposedly from the passenger side so you have the actual pretensioner kit right here whatever sensor mechanic told me is an issue i mean it's pretty obvious that it's whatever this is that is the sensor this plugs into something underneath or in it from the car probably from the b pillar and then this is the actual sensor in there this attaches to the pillar obviously this is the seat belt itself and then this is the buckle which is just bolted on and then that plugs in well, it doesn't plug in here, but it plugs into something also underneath. So somehow all this entire contraption should talk to each other. And now I'm going to have both of the same buckles. Uh, surprisingly, it doesn't have the, the um, you know, the wetter press in here. So, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but anyway. And this is like a little replacement cap to go over this piece. So anyway, so the funny thing about this, this box is how it traveled to me so before it ever started here let me get this so this is the part number in case if anybody interested and also just want to let you know to find the passenger side one of these is a lot more difficult than to find the driver's side and the reason for that probably because the passenger side is not very often replaced because most of these cars are driven just by the driver who buckles in supposedly but then the passengers uh, apparently do not or <laughs> most people don't ride with passengers who buckle up so anyway uh, to find this one for the passenger side was more difficult and it was also more expensive so fyi if anybody else out there driving with a beeping light and you already replaced the driver's side one of these so i found it from a seller um all right i, I got it i was a bit more expensive and i'm looking at this label right here trying to be not to be in the sun for too much and it looks like this was shipped from Ford of Ontario, which is actually for some reason in California. It was shipped to another location in California for some reason. 
I will be going to my mechanic in a couple of weeks on a weekend to make sure that I can get this installed. And the bottom line is if this does not resolve the problem, I will literally, I'll just let it go. I don't care. I'll keep driving with the beep, but I, I can't, I can't do it anymore. Um, this has been one of the very annoying things and it's not the most expensive thing that I've done to this car so far, but the fact that I got this replaced on the driver's side and then it failed within a couple of weeks and then it started it through a code for the passenger side. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, I'm happy to keep investing in this thing, but there's gotta be a point where I just say no. And especially for this type of repair, um, I feel like I'll just live with the beep if, if it can't be taken off. So any case, I'll keep you all posted. I'm going to go buy myself a tripod actually right now. And I'll see you next time with the next update.